Okay, I am ready to rock. I'm going to use a lot bigger canvas than I've been using before. And I've got my colors ready to go. You can check that out. It's got some Artist Loft metallic blue, some Apple Barrel real blue, some basic colors. Uh, over there some regular white I'm gonna set this up here all right so I am going to do a dirty pour but still try and make a wave out of that so I got my cup here And first, I'm going to get the paint all going on in there and do a shot, a couple shots of silicone spray there, a couple shots in here. Gotta love it. This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to see this one. I haven't done a dirty pour in a while. I'm trying to mix on all different sides, like put one here, one here, one here. I kind of have some different flow rates in there too. And now I'm gonna do the the old switcheroo right down the middle. One, two. Gonna look awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side. set up here so when I after I let this sit a little bit um, I'm gonna go this way on it let me make sure I got the camera set up there just right and jack it up a little bit more on my old shower curtain there it works perfect. Okay. Oh, let me get my palette ready here. Palette knife, gotta have that. Okay, here we go. I'll tell you, I really like some of these patterns alone.
see there's some nice cells coming along in there. On this canvas, it was so big I didn't put any post on there. So, by post meaning the little things that hold it up. Man, this is looking really awesome. I love the color. Colors. It's very ocean-like. And I want to stay away from blending it too much. So now, Got my trusty towel, gonna wipe this off. I guess I need to get a little bit more out here on the side. And I didn't do anything to this canvas. I like seriously just poured the paint on. I didn't use gesso or anything. Gesso, gesso. However you pronounce that, I, I really don't know. I've never even asked. I've never even used it. So I don't even care. <laughs> Thank you. I might get this squared out just a hair more. just saw my friend is at the pipeline in Hawaii hanging out at the Billabong house. I'm so jello, jealous. Okay, so now I'm going to run a little heat over it. Got some gnarly big cells going on. Man, I might, I almost might not want to put a wave on there. Holy smokes, this is cool. Make sure it's not flowing one way or the other.
Okay. Plenty of that. I gotta take this camera down and show you all this without dropping anything here. Come on, focus, baby. The lighting in here is so weird. There we go. Oh man, I almost had a fly over there. Fly into it. Go figure. I love that part right over here. It is just wild looking. Okay, let me set this back up. If possible. Anything's possible, Bob Ross. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attempt the wave on here and I'm going to start out with some white and make sure that fly got out of here. Got to love the flies, man. You get one in a room and it'll doom a piece of artwork for you. So I'm going to do a little something like this. Oh, if it'll come out, what's going on? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there it is. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Try this again. Okay, now I've got to get a little more color in there. So I'm going to go with the metallic, metallic blue. Get some more of that in there. Get it down here in the base. Okay. Um, I want there to be a little bit of green coming up through here. Like light green. and some light on the white there's going to be some wave action going on there get it off the edge there a little bit and then Some light blue, just some nice different colors in there. Man, some of those are almost purple looking. 
And then I'm going to have some dark blue towards the bottom. And I'm forgetting to spray these down. That's okay. They're going to they're going to sell up anyways. Okay, now just to make sure, I want to make sure this canvas is propped up this way, just a hair, because I don't want anything, I don't want my wave running that way. And you can tell by it kind of started to go that way a little bit. So I get Mr. Small here. get really detailed One thing I love about the Elmer's glue, it really gives you a lot of leeway. It gives you more time before caking up. looking pretty cool it definitely oh my towel is like leaking through here okay I hope I hope all you can see all of what's going on yeah okay looking good um, it's like I need some more contrast going on And that's where the white comes in. Get that thin white coming in there. I'm going to drip some on there. Because there's got to be a lot going on up here. There doesn't have to be a ton going on down here, I don't think, but on the back end of a wave, you know, it's 
It's pretty busy. Okay, now I'm gonna hit this sucker with the dryer again. There's a lot of paint on there, so I gotta be careful. You can see it moving around. to get this to, to move a little bit. That looks pretty cool. It's got some light areas over here. Some light areas working there. So I might fill that in with a little bit of green, just a skosh. and a little bit of blue. Here comes the fly again. Gotta kill it. He wants to be a part of the show, I understand. I'm hoping that will fix itself a little bit better and lay down there. I still need a hair more contrast going on here, just ever so slightly.
I'm gonna bake it just a little bit. Do the old bake and run. Looks like the canvas is pretty level, so that's good. So, anyhow, I think I'm gonna stop there and I'll take this down so we can take a look at it together. Possibly, if I can get this all moved around here. Okay, so come on, focus. So, some of the cells are pretty cool. It's with that metallic paint, it's almost like it's setting on top of the other paint. Okay, so I just finished uh, putting the epoxy resin on this one and wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, I think it's pretty cool. The, uh, the metallic really stands out. The metallic paint I used. And see that part there really is almost like it's above so it really came out kind of cool. It's amazing the epoxy uh, makes the cells and colors just pop that much more. But this is my first time doing epoxy at all. But you can see there's some spots. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see them or not, there's some over here. It's really hard to tell here. Uh, see, you can see that bubble right there. There's a bubble there. And it's, it's bubbled up in some other places. But I'll have to put on a second or third coat. I'll have to wait till it dries, clean it really good, and do that. Just put on another coat until it fully covers it. All right, thanks for watching.